let's move to the question can you please try to identify the yellow color structure can you please try to identify the yellow color structure which can be pinned okay which can be pinned okay so actually you are seeing the coils these are the numerous coils okay coils of jejunum and ileum that is coils of small intestine isn't it so the coils of jejunum and ileum they are suspended by one peritoneal fold that yellow color called as mesentery okay mesentery so the structure you are seeing here it may be pinned okay it may be tied okay so the structure this yellow color structure is mesentery okay so the possible sub uh, may be what are the two borders of the pinned structure okay or most of the time the sub will be structures crossed structures crossed by the pinned structure okay by the pinned structure okay and one more possible is contents what are the contents of the pinned structure okay so let's discuss the two borders of the mesentery okay or one is called as attached border attached border which is also called as root of mesentery root of mesentery and another border is called as free border which is attached to the which is suspending the coils of jejunum ileum okay fine so these are the two borders of the mesentery now coming to the structures crossed by mesentery what is mesentery as i told it is a mesentery is a peritoneal fold okay it is a peritoneal fold suspending the coils of jejunum and ileum that is small intestine okay fine now coming to the structures crossed by mesentery root of mesentery okay so uh, you can see this green color structure in this diagram green color structure in this diagram is the is the mesentery root of mesentery okay so what are the various structures crossed by the root of mesentery you can see it is crossing the abdominal iota it is crossed by abdominal iota inferior vena cava third part of duodenum otherwise called as d3 that is horizontal part of duodenum okay then right gonadal vessels right ureter right so was major okay so these are the various structures crossed by the root of mesentery if you want if you want you can remember as hair h a i r hair okay p u b g pub g okay so h is representing horizontal part of duodenum that is third part of duodenum a abdominal iota i inferior vena cava r is representing right sided structures which which are the three right sided structures crossed by the mesentery yes right psoas major right ureter and right gonadal vessels okay leave this b okay so these are the six structures crossed by root of mesentery okay fine so and also remember rarely they may ask the extent of extent of uh, the pinned structure so you can see the mesentery extends from duodeno jejunal flexure that is the beginning of jejunum to the iliocecal junction okay so uh, mesentery extends from duodeno jejunal flexure to the to the iliocecal junction okay duo jejunal flexure to the iliocecal junction okay that is the extent of the mesentery fine okay now coming to the contents one more topic i have told you is contents of mesentery okay so what are the various contents of the mesentery yes one is superior mesentery artery okay superior mesentery artery then lymph nodes lymphatic vessels will be there lymphatic vessels then lymph nodes then we have the adipose tissue fat that's why it is appearing as yellowish color so these are some of the contents of the mesentery okay fine let's move to the next question now you are able to see large intestine okay this is the large intestine okay so in the large intestine they will be okay they will be 
they will be pinning this structure okay they will pin this structure actually okay they will pin okay or they may tie this structure okay any idea about the tied structure or pinned structure here yes this is the appendix isn't it vermiform appendix vermiform appendix are simply called as appendix okay and what are the subcosines for the this tied structure or pinned structure yes one is parts okay what are the parts of the structure okay otherwise they may ask what are the various positions what are the various positions of the pinned structure or tied structure okay parts positions then they may ask the blood supply or nerve supply okay and applied aspect okay so uh, can you tell me the three parts of the appendix okay this is the appendix so this is cecum actually okay this is the cecum okay so uh, the part of the appendix which is attached to the cecum is called as base of appendix okay then we have the body of appendix then the free end of the appendix is called as tip of appendix tip of appendix so three parts of appendix you will be clear isn't it base of appendix which is attached to the cecum body of appendix tip of appendix fine then coming to the various positions of appendix okay various positions of appendix okay so remember a few important things the most common position of appendix is retrocecal okay retrocecal or retrocolic this is the most common position of appendix okay and the second most common position of appendix is pelvic position pelvic position okay pelvic position is the second most common position of appendix okay and some other positions okay some other very less common least common positions okay some other positions of appendix are okay it may be it may be inguinal position okay inguinal position okay then we have promontric position promontric promontric then we have um, parasical position parasical position we have uh, pre ileal post ileal positions okay like that so at, you should never forget this two okay two common positions of appendix okay pre ileal post ileal these are the various positions of appendix okay then followed by the positions let's talk about the um, blood supply of appendix okay blood supply of appendix you will be knowing isn't it the arterial supply of appendix is by appendicular artery okay arterial supply is by appendicular artery i hope you will be knowing it is a branch of iliocolic artery appendicular artery is a branch of iliocolic artery which is a branch of superior mesenteric artery fine yes what about the venous drainage corresponding vein will be there venous drainage is by appendicular vein which drains into which drains into what iliocolic vein iliocolic vein okay okay fine now coming to the nerve supply what is the nerve supply for the appendix it is clinically very important okay the nerve supply of appendix it is appendix is supplied by t10 spinal nerve okay t10 10th thoracic spinal nerve okay parasympathetic innervation is by vagus so just remember the uh, appendix is supplied by t10 spinal nerve 10th thoracic spinal nerve okay what about the applied aspects of the appendix yes one is appendicitis isn't it appendicitis that is inflammation of the appendix okay and the surgical removal of the appendix will be called as what appendicectomy appendicectomy okay and please take care of this word okay called as mcburney spine mcburney spine okay any idea about this word mcburney spine okay so mcburney spine is the point okay uh, at the junction of umbilicus okay if you draw the line if you draw one line joining the umbilicus 
and right anterior superior iliac spine okay at the junction of medial two third and lateral one third of this line okay medial two third and lateral one third of line joining the umbilicus and the right is yes that is the location of mcburney's point okay and what is the importance yes during appendicitis it is the site of maximum tenderness okay during appendicitis it is the site of maximum tenderness okay fine let's move to the next question okay actually here you are able to see the sagittal section okay mid sagittal mid sagittal section of female pelvis female pelvis okay why i am saying this one as female pelvis you can easily guess okay how because in this diagram this is anterior this is posterior okay so anteriorly you are able to see the pubic symphysis okay and the posteriorly this is the sacrum bone okay this is the sacrum bone okay this is the sacrum bone posteriorly okay and are you able to see the three main pelvic organs in females just behind the, the pubic symphysis we have urinary bladder okay and this is the lumen of rectum and in between the urinary bladder anteriorly and the rectum posteriorly are you able to see one organ is pinned here yes this will be the usual question the pinned structure or organ is uterus okay so uterus that's why i told you this is the mid sagittal section of female pelvis okay so uterus has been pinned here okay fine the possible sub questions what are the parts of the pinned structure what are the parts of the pinned structure okay otherwise what is the normal position normal position of the pinned structure parts normal position then they may ask blood supply or applied applied okay fine so coming to the subcutaneous what are the parts of the uterus yes the three parts of the uterus okay the three parts of the uterus are what fundus body and cervix fundus body cervix these are the three parts of uterus above downwards the three parts of uterus from above downwards we have i am i am marking in the diagram in this specimen this is the fundus this is the body and this is the cervix cervix okay so fundus body cervix these are the three parts of the uterus okay and what is the normal position of the uterus yes the normal position of the uterus is anti verted and anti flexed position anti verted and anti flexed position okay so uh, try to remember the definition and the normal angle of anti version and anti flexion okay so okay so that is the normal position or normal uterine axis anti version and anti flexion okay so what is anti version yes it is the first diagram is showing the angle of anti version it is the angle formed between long axis of cervix and the long axis of vagina okay between c and v between the long axis of cervix and long axis of vagina we have the we have the angle formed called as anti version what is the normal angle of anti version yes it is 90 degree 90 degree okay now what do you mean by anti flexion yes the second diagram is showing the angle of anti flexion okay so it is the angle formed between b and c okay what is b and c between the long axis of body of uterus and the cervix of uterus okay and what is the normal angle of anti flexion yes it is 120 or 125 degrees okay then other two possible questions i have told you related to the uterus blood supply and applied isn't it so blood supply you know okay you try just remember this one for spartering spartar purpose just remember you train it is supplied mainly by uterine artery which is a branch of anterior division of internal iliac artery uterine artery a branch of anterior division of internal iliac artery okay
then coming to the applied aspect of the uterus one is called as cervical cancer okay uh, it is one of the most common cancers in females which mainly spreads through lymphatics so cervical cancer prolapse of uterus which is due to weakening of supports of uterus cesarean section okay if the normal vaginal delivery is not possible usually the cesarean section will be performed in order to deliver the baby and one more you can remember is the surgical removal of the uterus the procedure is called as hysterectomy just to remember the names okay and now coming to the last spotter question uh, this is again the mid sagittal section okay mid sagittal section of what male pelvis or female pelvis yes this is the mid sagittal section of male pelvis how i am saying this one as male pelvis so in this diagram have the orientation which is anterior which is posterior okay so um, this is the pubic symphysis which is located anteriorly and here you will be able to see the sacrum bone okay sacrum bone fine so what are the two main pelvic organs in males so just behind the pubic symphysis do you see the urinary bladder okay lumen of urinary bladder also and this is the rectum rectum okay and what is the pinned structure here which is located this is the structure pinned here isn't it which is located just below the bladder okay just below the bladder isn't it so what is the male accessory reproductive organ located just below the urinary bladder in males yes it is prostate gland okay so the structure i am outlining the i outlining here is prostate gland just below the urinary bladder in males we have prostate gland okay so just now i told you the location of prostate gland okay it is located just below the just below the urinary bladder specifically just below the neck neck of urinary bladder fine okay fine then coming to the other possible sub questions what are the various lobes okay otherwise what is the applied aspect of the pinned structure okay can you tell me the lobes of the prostate gland so leave other other the other things here just to take care of the uh, five lobes of prostate gland okay just to remember the names of five lobes what are they yes anterior lobe posterior lobe median lobe and two lateral lobes right and left lateral lobes totally we have five lobes okay anterior lobe posterior lobe median okay lobe and two lateral lobes these are the five lobes of the prostate gland okay fine now coming to the another possible question that is that is applied aspect of the prostate gland okay i told you posterior lobe of the prostate isn't it that is the usual site of carcinoma of prostate gland okay carcinoma of prostate usually arises from the posterior lobe okay fine then we have another condition related to the prostate gland called as benign benign prostatic hypertrophy okay which usually arises in the median lobe of the prostate median lobe of the prostate gland okay so the applied aspect remember these two things one is carcinoma of prostate which usually arises from posterior lobe benign prostatic hypertrophy which usually affects or arises from the median lobe of prostate okay so that's about the uh, discussion of this today's session thank you all